เพลงกันนี่เอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอามามาดอเตียนลุกเยรุนนะมากับเพื่อนลุกเยรุนนั่งจูนจูนปุญญมาว่ Hello everybody here's my c o s again and welcome to my channel my c o s channel so today bring you by grandma Peng Run She is 75 years old, and her husband died in 1977. Got killed by Pol Pot. The Pol Pot is uh, the communist they call Khmer r o u g So uh, right now she lives in the village Chmapun in district k a n d a l s t u n g and she lives by herself. So um, a little long story for her story. So um, she used to live here before when she was young, and after her husband died, got killed by the Khmer r o u g is the community, and she still live in village m a p u n and k a n d a s t a n g district. And after the Pol Pot regime by take over by the Vietnamese. So she still live here, and her life is so struggle. She have nothing left. So uh, she only have the little land, and after that, she raised five cat. She didn't have any cat, and the other cat is the homeless cat because they didn't have their parent either. Though all their parent died, but they still the little children. So she adopt them, find them, and she working so hard to earning something of searching food to raising them. But uh, right now she getting old. She is 75 years old, and again her name Peng Run, and it hardly to. Uh, make a living, so that why a b u t a k went there to ask her some question and interview for her real life how she doing. Uh, all her cat that she adopt are still poor too because they didn't have any job available or even have a job. They work as the contractor because they have con new constructions around. But it earn is not enough income. Only earn a little money, so it hard for their living. They could not afford uh, everything. So b u t a k say hello to her. She say hello to b u t a k and I s a y how are you? And she said she doing all right. And you know the old people, when they get old about her age, it have no benefit or no four one k no retirement plan mode. No medical care from the the this benefit. They didn't have anything. They have to um, survive somehow. It's not eat for enjoy the food, but to just eat for survive. But uh, it hard for her life. She uh, searching the food for herself. But let's get back a little bit. So. Why she raised those five children, but she was young yet, and she just searching the food. You know, they have water. She go fishing, catching the fish, or grab or smell what else she can. You know, looking for it. You know, to survive and to raise the cat. And it hard for her. Sometimes she sell the, at the local flea market. Sometimes she exchange her fish to get some r i c e To feed all the cat, it hard for uh, the living. It's not that easy because you know they didn't, didn't have any standard the company like in the United States. But it's so different and so poor. A lot of poverty people live in their lives of struggles and so much stress and depressed and anxieties. You know all kind of thing. It uh, combined together. Make their life so bad, and their living is not happy. Um, 
you can see be behind uh, her, like this house is built from the tin. And the tin is so hard even on the roof. And she had a little land too, but uh, she had to sell it to raise those five children that she adopted because they didn't have any parent. Uh, parent, like I mentioned about, and parent got killed by the community. And then there's a homeless kid, and so sad, you know, she feel more compassion to help because she uh, and an adult, and she know uh, what to do. And those kids don't know what to do. They just homeless, you know, whatever. It's just a little kid, it's so, so sad. helping them and she had to sell that ho that house and the land but I get a little money and this land is not belong to her either it's uh, the flood areas and the dam too nobody living there so this is belong to the land authority but they asking them can they build a little home here this is home it don't look, look like the standard home it's just it's something put together, material, and to protect the wind and the rain, something like that, and then they can live in there. See, um, her home, like, uh, built overlap to the dam. You know, only this is a road in front of her. This, this is, uh, you know, they build up the dam at high, and people can travel on that, that, that dam and seem like a road like a road and then behind you can see the water and they didn't have any water to use it like clean water they had to use the water from the backyard and natural water whatever it's a lot of you know germ a lot of disease stuff and but well no choice i used to do that too i used to live in back there and what is her life exactly like my life? I got through everything. You know, I eat everything. I just don't care because to survive, it's not eat the food to enjoy like in the United States. But we have a lot of things over here, but it's not over at Cambodia. Like Cambodian people get suffer by the poverty because even they have the job, the job it wasn't pay well either. It's not enough for their living. And then their life is struggled generation by generation, get poor and poor. You see, like, her first generation is poor, and after she raised that five children, and she didn't have nothing to send them to school. Well, sending them to see the doctor to get checked up for their health. They have to have good education, but uh, they only have, like, Four grade something, but they be able to read, but they didn't have any you know, education to apply for a job and get experience. I mean, the skill or technique something, but they have to work as a labor job. But the work I contractor, it pay a little money, not uh, not much, but they pay. You know how they pay? They pay it day by day. Uh, one day is about six to seven dollars. It's not enough. If they have some construction work, they will call him to go there and work. If they didn't have any work, they have no work. They have to stay home. So it's a very hard life. That's why I just uh, bring this up and share to the world and everybody can see. So if you guys uh, would like to help, please see the video, share to uh, let people in the public know it probably we can get the kindly people have the generous uh, donation to helping them we will get from there please uh, leave me the comment we will discuss and talk it from there and you guys can connect directly to them too um because we got the partner work there um this is Putak, he's the youngest one in our team and the other one is Puwood and I live in the United States, they live in Cambodia, so they can work it from there. They travel all over the, you know, the place, or whatever they get report, or have been told, have some people need help, and he just travel there. But they didn't have the fancy stuff to travel it. The motorcycle is, a, it, 
it's the more convenient and easy for them affordable too and uh, we would just uh, get some call round 4 1999 about 4500 very old but what else should we do we didn't have any you know transportation to uh, load all the supply to get rid of the food supply you know like um, 50 kilo 50 kilogram of rice it's so heavy because one kilogram is two pound and a half about 50 kilogram and then more than a hundred pound is so heavy so but uh, the motorcycles didn't have enough room to load all those you know food supply only the car so it, we got some from donated and to help them out but uh, to what you wish own money to buy that car and then he can uh, travel he can load all kinds of food supply as need or bicycle something uh who talk i heard what is your difficult in life but she said it's a long story to talk but right now she just uh, need some help because she only got 4,000 real, 4,000 real is one dollar, but she spent so little and little for her life. But right now, thank you very much for Mrs. Ree to send this donation to Putak through me, and then Putak give to her $25. It $25 is a lot of money. You know, like $10 is 40,000 real, and I think 100,000 real, so she can spend like 1,000 real, 2,000 real a day. And she's so excited and happy and uh, she's just uh, crying, you know, some like uh, people that thinking about how poor they are, how poor she is, she need help. But she call out for uh, the help, but nobody help, nobody know, nobody see them, you know, they know. Uh, they are poor, need help, but they don't care. But uh, I can't do that. I got a hard because I got through all those situations very hard. It struck on my life to be alive, to live to the United States, you know, to get interviewed by UNHCR and get to the United States. Of course, I'm a refugee. I escaped from my country during the war about the Khmer Rouge is the communist. I just escaped living in Thai border. So UNHCR got some interview and took us to the United States. That's why this the land of opportunity. I always say that because uh, only the back their experience and come here is more opportunity. Even I don't read, I don't write, and but now my English getting better. I got here without any knowledge because during the war I didn't have any school something like them so right now we got a team I would like to helping them what I can so making video if people see it interested they contact and they want to donate we will get from there find a way for them to send to Cambodia and connect with Putak and for what but I'm here uh, to helping them and we don't earn any profit like some kind of non-profit organization we just do it from our heart because a lot you can see like the people heartbroken it's hard to watch and hard to ignore it i can't be ignored i have to help them no matter what and because it, this life experience it wasn't easy to get in through like somebody game you know put us in the game and then they just playing game and because they run all kind of the uh, political i'm not sure but i'm not involved with that so i only focus on to help all poor people or children without the parent have they didn't have a home with the homeless children it's a lot of them and some people sick and need help with nobody help so they need like her she need some money to go to see the doctor too doctor's not free she have to pay the money but she all like that and no retirement 
plan or no 401k to support her with her old age. But thank you very much for those children that she raised for them. So they just give her food, but a little money and food. But uh, some of them move out of this area. The village name is Ma Boon and in Kandalston district. But I never been there since I uh, left my country in 1979. I never go back. I don't know where it is. But all I know is my nation, same nation. It's Cambodian. I'm Cambodian too. I know how they feel because I got those uh, kind of cultures and how they like and how they live and how they uh, struggle to be better life, but they left over generation by generation. It's mostly the same and nothing changed. If I live there, probably my life same thing like her, like everybody over there, you know, but uh, I'm so lucky and I got to the United States, everything completely 100% changing. It's not like the way I am before. So this is the gift, the special gift from Mrs. Reese, give to her $25. So she said thank you and really appreciate for your kindly gift. And this money can help me to survive a little more. So I'm old, I cannot work, I, I don't have anything to save up. And even this land is not belong to me, belong to the land authority. I only temporarily live here. I don't have anything, you know, just she had to um, live by her life like that. Yeah, so sad. Yeah, uh, thank you guys for your watching and thank you for viewers like you. If you like it, and please help to share the video. Also, you would like to support, please subscribe and click notification bell to get new video you can miss it every time i post it at 6 p.m at central time you guys can go my channel my work they will post every 6 p.m at central time every day i try my best to post it all right guys thank you for your watching and you guys have a wonderful day enjoy the rest of the day we'll see you guys on the next video coming up bye bye now and i pour the mucca chun po ba hai ka o kun ba hai ka so mamot the near paul bonnie the doll um ri pong hai uh chip say to the man met paul the doll madai bakot ba the jay chi chang pong nhưng bà tụt tạc xô buông xuống đường chôn po tụt đo và thổ xạ sật tiếng o là không nông lộc dương miền bắc xôm bà là mây miền bắc bà và thổ xạ sật miền bắc xôm tê và đa chui thay là xa còn trung bảy bạch tụt đo còn cù xa ông ri bà chia và say nước ngoài còn miền sọc phía lo từ na ti chật ti ngay chụp tay sợi dây ai chụp tay liệp chụp tay chay chụp tay sợi dây xuống sợi dây sập hẹm cô cột cột cù xa chia và say nước cứ cọt tơ ti chật ti ngay cứ miên sờ bạt là phìa hay cọt miên cầm lăng mồm mồm phong chỉ sai nông sọc phìa là o hay có mùi chết coi nhung sôm chun po từ đó ông phù minh bằng phôn từng o mà tai tai nội dung tam đan tu sơn na nội sơn na nông chân nẻo dương nhung từng o kia bà ỏi phù cọt độc si từ tu tiên miên ban thì chết từ chôm đôi từ o phong chay tơ ti chật ti ngay chụp tai sờ bạt là phìa chụp tai nư lo lo chụp tai liệp chụp tai chay và